So you're thinking of making a move and moving to Detroit, but don't know quite where to live at. You see all the things on the news and you see all the things that I'm saying in my channel, but you still can't pinpoint the area you want to live in. Well, this video is for you. I'll be breaking down three of my top picks for people that are moving from out of state and want to relocate here and go into the Detroit area. And I'll be giving you one of my quietest kept picks at the end. What's going on? Welcome to my channel. My name is Ed Butler. I make videos about living, working, eat, sleeping, and playing in Detroit. If that's something that you're looking to learn more about, make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button and tap the like button for me too. I'm also a full-time realtor, so I help people move within the state of Michigan or to the state of Michigan every single month. And I love to have your back in your home buying or selling journey. All my information is down below. Feel free to reach out. And with that, let's hop into the video. Coming in at number one is going to be the Boston Edison Historical District. This is definitely one of my favorite places to take people that are shopping to come move to Detroit from out of state because I mean, I don't know of any other place that you can get more bang for your buck than in the Boston Edison Historical District. Fun fact, it's actually one of the largest historical districts in the entire United States with over 900 homes built there. This is gonna be made up of four different blocks and that's gonna be Boston Boulevard, Chicago Boulevard, Longfellow Avenue, and Edison Avenue. And this district is gonna stretch from Woodward on the east side and all the way down to Linwood on its west side. And if you wanna buy in the Boston Edison district, over the last year, 43 homes sold at an average price point of $370,000. Now, if you're saying that's a little steep, Think about this, the average square footage was over 3,000 square feet. This has gotta be one of the most attractive areas for me personally because I like to take homeowners that wanna go and buy and live and enjoy all that Boston Edison has to offer, but also investors because there's a lot of these older homes that weren't kept up as well that you can purchase for a kind of a lower price point, relatively speaking, fix up and then exit a lot higher in the you know four or $500,000 range possibly. Moving on to my next pick, and that's going to be the University District. What makes this neighborhood so attractive to me is that it's surrounded by so many other affluent Detroit neighborhoods like Sherwood Forest, which is just adjacent to it, and then Palmer Woods as well, and then it's bordered by the Detroit Golf Club. This neighborhood boasts over 1,200 homes built during the golden age of housing. That's going to be the early to mid-1900s. So they're all really well built and they look absolutely stunning. So the borders for the University District are going to be seven miles to the north, McNichols or six miles to the south and then on the east side we're going to have Livernoise Avenue and then on the west side you're going to have the Detroit Golf Club giving you a pretty good square border. Of the 45 homes sold last year in the University District the average price point was right around $313,000 with an average square foot of about $2,700. So you're looking to move somewhere to get a little bang for your buck you're following the theme Detroit's your place to look. Speaking of which I actually just helped a couple move here from California in late 2021. We got a home in the University District for pretty much a steal of a deal. We got it at right about $280,000. And I can tell you right now, if we relisted that home on market the right way, it'll be worth closer to 350 dollars pretty easily. All right, if you're getting anything out of the video so far, do me a favor and go ahead and reach down and tap that like button for me. It goes a long way for the YouTube algorithm. I appreciate you. All right, last but not least, we're going to have LaSalle Gardens. This is my sneak pick that a lot of people don't really talk about, but it's definitely one that's starting to become very uh formidable in the uh, battle of different neighborhoods in uh, Detroit. This is actually a current hot spot for investments from investors and the city itself. The LaSalle Gardens has re received approximately 1.6 million in investments over the last few years and it's continuing to grow. So the parameters or locations for LaSalle Gardens are gonna be Rosa Parks Boulevard to its east, West Ground Boulevard to the south, Linwood Avenue to its west, and north is gonna be capped by Euclid. Now, if you're thinking of entering this LaSalle Gardens Market. Of the 17 homes that were sold last year, the average price point was about 180,000. Now, don't take this as this is a cheap place to live in, move in ready. Of those 17, many of them were flips that were bought at a lower price point. For some of your more finished, done flip properties, you're going to be looking at a $300,000, $400,000 range. Actually, the highest sale last year was $410,000 in this neighborhood. And they had an average size of about 2,100 square feet. I actually was just touring this neighborhood looking at a new listing that a friend of mine put out 
out there. And man, I was astounded by how many flips were on just one block that looked really good. And then I got to the end of the block and there was a whole new development of high-end condo complexes that are coming to the city or condo or apartment complexes that are coming to the city in that neighborhood, which is pretty astounding and looks very good for people buying in the sale gardens right now for sure. So this is just three of my top picks for neighborhoods to move to when you're coming to Detroit. There's many, many others, and I'll be making more videos in the future about them. But these are three I wanted to definitely highlight today. And if you want to find out more about different areas that you should consider when you're making your move to Detroit, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below for sure. And hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. As always too, I'm a full-time realtor. If you're thinking of making a move, want to talk it through, feel free to reach out. All my information is down below. I love to have your back on your home buying or selling journey. And with that, I'll catch you on the next one.